there will be strobing a lot of it in this video. I am sending data wirelessly over a UDP socket to the PyTrax running Linux, and then it's displaying it on the Vectrax. I am going to uh, load up an image. Hopefully you can tell that that is a mask. Uh, there are probably about 2,000 line segments. It doesn't look like it right now, but you'll see why in a few minutes, uh, why there are so many line segments. Uh, the Vectrex controller itself, with the buttons on the Vectrex controller, I can uh, have com some control over the clipping. So if a line is below a certain brightness, uh, it'll just be clipped. It won't be drawn. And so I'll do that right now. So only the really bright lines are being drawn. And then I can also do a simple distortion uh, offset. So if the uh, areas are bright, they'll uh, be distorted more and the dark areas are distorted less. And that's just by pressing the buttons on the Vectrex. So the nice thing about streaming from the Mac to the Pytrax is uh, you know, I can send as much data as I want. There's no uh, RAM limitation or SD card limitation. I'm not writing to a file. Uh, so that it's very low latency, and uh, the biggest limitation that I, I believe is how quickly the Vectrax can draw uh, lines. Uh, I have as many as 3,000 lines at some point. It clearly has problems doing that. This image can have uh, close to 3,000 lines if I don't clip the darker areas. And you can see it's uh, uh, definitely strobing, not playing back at anywhere near 50 frames per second. It's probably it's certainly under 30 frames per second. Uh, and so it varies depending on what's going on. Um, so I can adjust the clipping and then the frame rate goes up or have more grayscale and the frame rate goes down. I can distort it. The more I distort it, the lower the refresh rate as well. And I'll call up uh, one more image. This is of an eye, a close-up of an eye. I hope you can tell that what these <laughs> images are. Uh, and I, you know, I can distort this as well. So the nice thing is uh, the, the uh, Mac is actually repeating the still frame. It's just sending it over and over again. Um, and it doesn't have to just send still frames. It can send uh, moving video as well. So I'll show you a quick example of that. Uh, this is a video playing back on the Factrax, and it's being streamed through UDP to the Pytrax, uh, which then is being displayed on the Vectrax. And here's the uh, here, here's the movie on the Mac that's being streamed. And you can't really see the latency, but it's it's pretty it's very low. And the nice thing about the, the movie could be as long as uh, I want. There's no uh, file length limitation. And I can do the same thing with the contrast with the moving video. This is just the very bright lines clips everything else. This is uh, pretty much everything. Uh, she's on a black background, so that helps. And then I can distort it as well. <laughs> 